Hey everyone, welcome back to another full day of eating vlog. So today's gonna be an exciting one because Crystal and I are gonna be going to the local trampoline park and then after we're gonna be going out for lunch somewhere. But right now I'm just making some breakfast, fueling up because yeah, we've got a big day ahead of us. So I'm just making one of my absolute favorite breakfasts of all time or a snack or anything pretty much. One of my favorite meals and it's peanut butter on toast with some banana. So this is like, something I've been eating since I was a kid and I absolutely love it. So I'm having it on this spelt sourdough bread and you can see the ingredients are really simple. It's actually made by this local company and this stuff is so good. And along with the peanut butter and banana, I also love to have some hemp seeds and some cinnamon on it. So this actually isn't the first thing that I'm having today. I always like to have some warm water or some warm lemon water, which I had this morning when I get up and I find it's just a great way to hydrate. It also kind of wakes up your digestion so that it's not still sleeping when you go and try and have something like peanut butter and toast early in the morning. And then, so our bodies aren't still sleeping when we get to the trampoline park, Crystal and I did some stretching this morning. So we kind of helped each other stretch. This isn't something we often do, uh, but it was definitely fun and got us all limbered up and in a good mood for the day's activities. So the idea or goal with these full day of eating videos is to both entertain you, but also give you some ideas of different plant-based meals you can eat and then put it into some context to show you how someone who's active like myself sustains himself while eating nothing but plants. So hopefully this video gives you some ideas and if you enjoy it, feel free to hit the like button at any time throughout the video. I very much appreciate it. So check this out. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> we got a bunch of snow lately. I had to like carve out this little path for the cat so they could get out there. Oh, do you like it out here? Look at this. You like kind of match the snow. So I'm gonna get the car warmed up because it is so cold out here. Not my favorite thing getting into a freezing cold car. And this old gal does not like to drive when it's cold. Gotta love that Toyota reliability. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm really ready. <laughs> so this is Crystal, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you've seen her before in my vlogs. You got your grip socks on? Nice. What are you gonna try and do today? Any any focus? You gonna do any flips or anything? I don't think so. No, come no, on. I'll probably, I'll probably just film you, no. Come on, you can do it. No, 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 no. What about like the wall uh, walking that I was doing last time? I could try it, but it's I don't so know fun. it's gonna be hard. So they have like a wall beside one of the trampolines that you can like kind of bounce on your back and then walk up. It is so much fun. I just learned how to do it like a little bit last time I was here. So I'm going to try that today and then nice crystal. I think I'll probably try and do standing backflip on this springboard or on the spring floor as like a goal today. You okay? <coughs> Jumps on a trampoline for an hour, doesn't die, and has a sip of water, almost takes herself out. <laughs> All right, I think I better try this standing back flip. Because if I don't keep practicing it, I'm gonna lose it, so. So 
good. That was really good. Nice. That was, that was better. That was looking tight. All right, we only got a couple minutes left, but they said I could drop in on the mini ramp here. So let's see what I got. Oh, the boards are little. <laughs> Safety first. Okay. disaster to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Can't believe I got that. Nice job, babe. Man, that was good. I'm buzzing now. <laughs> now it's time to get some lunch? Yeah, let's go get some lunch. So this is called the Air House in Nanaimo. This place is so fun. Everyone that works here is so nice and they're always so helpful. Like if they see you trying something and they can help, they definitely like help you out, figure out how to do it. And it's amazing how much just like a few cues or a few tips will help you get something that you've never done before. So yeah, shout out to Airhouse and Nanaimo. Thank you for letting us film here today and uh, we'll definitely be back. Are you hungry? I know, I definitely worked up an appetite. So where are we going? What's this place called again? I think it's called Gabrielle's Cafe. It's so good. It's not like a totally vegan cafe or anything, but they have lots of vegan options. So yeah, let's get in there. Okay. <laughs> We're both so shy to vlog in public. It's kind of busy in here. Wait, so, what did you get? I got the poke bowl with organic tofu. Nice. What did you get? I got the special. So they say it's called the rice bowl. Thai red coconut curry with braising greens and your choice of chicken, fried something or other, or tofu. So obviously I got the tofu. I'm gonna try it out. It's delicious. I can already, I already smells, had the tofu on mine. So smells so good. Whoa. Oh, so good. Like Pleasure. lemon, yeah, it's like a, like a lemongrass kind of flavor. Oh, amazing. Oh, I know. Very coconutty. Can I try yours? Mm -hmm. All right, do I want to get at? I don't know, it's a salad, so it's I know. Oh, I'm really making a mess of it here. Sorry, babe. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's good. Mmm. Man, this place is awesome. Mm. I usually get the breakfast every time I come here, but I asked the girl at the counter, I was like, should I get something different? She said, yeah, definitely try the bowls. So I'm glad I took her advice because they're really good too. And another cool thing about this place is the tables are made from like old bowling alley, which is like so cool because you can see like the little dots in it. And it actually makes like a pretty nice table. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> I guess we're going to eat this and then we've got a little bit of grocery shopping to do on the way home, some errands, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at home. And if anything interesting happens, we'll show you that. But if not, uh, we'll be back in the kitchen making some dinner. Mm. Now, what a fun day. Mm -hmm. I love these days with you. Mm. You're the best. And you did good on the train. You learned that little wall walk. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? It's like addicting. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I want to go back and like do it, but I didn't get it 100%. But you will next time. You keep getting a little better and a little better. It's all about those small incremental steps. This is the bomb. I gotta learn how to do the jump, the jump kick. Yeah. We just got home and we did a bit of a shop on the way home. It wasn't a ton of stuff that we had to get, but we did get a few essentials. So I'll show you guys what we got. Organic raspberries, some blueberries, spring mix, some bell peppers, whole bunch of canned chickpeas, and then these, oh, these are good, Jojo's Dark Chocolate Bites. We definitely got into these on the way home, had a couple of those. Some Nona Pia's, this is a balsamic glaze. It's gonna be so nice with dinner tonight. And then just some Brazil nuts, gotta get that selenium in, and some diced tomatoes. We use these things like crazy when we make different Instant Pot dishes. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot about these. A huge bag of Cara Cara oranges. These are so good, I'm gonna have one right now. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before, you'll have to let me know in the comments, but Cara Cara oranges have got to be my favorite orange ever. I always like to say, the fruit's so nice, they had to name it twice. <laughs> 
So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they have this like beautiful reddish orange flesh to them. And yeah, they're so, so sweet. Mmm. Wow. You wanna try it? You want it? <laughs> I feel like it's only fair to give Ollie a little bit of air time. She's definitely the shy cat, so she doesn't quite get on camera as much. But man, she is sweet. Nervous, but sweet. <laughs> you want to try some orange? I don't think you like it. No, you're out of here already. <laughs> Alright, so I just made Crystal and I the most beautiful dinner. So let me tell you what I have going on here, and then I will show you how to make it. So this is a super flavorful orange and ginger fava bean tofu. And then I've just got really nice salad here, some watermelon radish and some potatoes. So like I said, let me show you how I made all this. So I'm just gonna start by cutting this soy free tofu into cubes. So I know I've showed this stuff on the channel before, but I love this stuff and it's basically like tofu, but just made from fava bean. And then I'll just put that into a container while I make the sauce for it. So I'm gonna start by using the juice of one of these Cara Cara oranges. This is gonna provide us some good sweetness and a little bit of tanginess as well. Then some tamari, some onion powder, some garlic powder, ginger powder, and some Chinese five spice. What five spices? I don't know, but they're good ones. And give this a quick mix. And I know I always say this, but you want to give your sauces and marinades a quick taste before you put them on your food. Mmm, so good. Just because you don't want to ruin everything if you dump it on there and it's not good. And then this isn't necessary, but if you want to add a little extra flavor, you could put on a tiny bit of this toasted sesame oil. Doesn't take much, this stuff's really strong. Give it all mixed around again. And then what I like to do is just take a slightly smaller container and then just press it down. This helps to get all the flavor inside of the tofu tofu. It's like a quick way to marinate something. And then pour the extra sauce back into the original container. And then this is going in the air fryer. So while I've got that soy free tofu cooking in the other room, I just put it in the other room because it's kind of noisy in here with the air fryer going when I'm trying to film. Uh, I'm just gonna reheat these potatoes that I made the other day. So these are just totally plain baked potatoes. I just cut them in half and then put them on to like a silicone non-stick baking sheet and bake them until they were nice and soft. So I'm just gonna add these to this pan and hopefully they don't stick too much. <laughs> These potatoes were sprouting like crazy, so that's why they all kind of have these like weird like chew marks in them. It's not because they've been half eaten, it's because I had to like cut the eyes out of them. So while that stuff's cooking and heating up, I'm gonna make a quick salad. So I've just got some mixed greens, some red bell pepper, and then some of these berries that we bought today. Oh yeah, and then this is a fun one. This is called a watermelon radish. So this was actually created by crossing a watermelon and a radish. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't think it was made by doing that. I'm not sure how it was uh, hybridized, or even if it is, I have no idea, but it is beautiful and it doesn't taste like a watermelon, unfortunately. You guys will have to let me know if you've ever had one of these because they are beautiful and they do taste really good, but they taste a lot like a radish However, like a little bit less sort of spicy, I guess you'd say, like not as pungent as a radish. And it has kind of like a peppery flavor similar to arugula. So I usually just chop this up really small and you know, just throw it on there. But for the sake of making this extra beautiful, I'm gonna kind of display it like this today. All right, so that fava bean tofu is done. I almost burned it, but caught it just in time. Look at these, they look so good. It smells amazing too, so. Let's get this all into the bowls. And then on top of the salad, I'm just gonna add some tahini and some of this balsamic glaze. These two together are so good, and if you don't feel like putting a whole sauce together, this makes a really nice quick salad dressing. And then just give the potatoes a little bit of flavor. I'm gonna add some of that orange ginger marinade that we made earlier. 
All right, so time for the obligatory taste test. I'm obviously gonna get into this fava bean tofu first, but I'll get a little bit of salad with it as well. Mmm, wow. That Chinese five spice is not something I cook with nearly enough. It has so much flavor. And then I guess I'll try the potatoes. I mean, I know these are gonna be probably pretty good. Yep, amazing. Mm. I had an awesome day. Thank you, Crystal, for being in the vlog. It's always nice seeing your face in here. And uh, thank you all for watching it all the way to the end. This is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit the like button if you did. Subscribe so you can see more. And let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the day and if you enjoyed the recipes. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram, at SimNetNutrition, if you do make some meals that are inspired by me because I love seeing the recipes that are inspired by my cooking. See you guys again with another video. Bye-bye. So close.